What's up everyone, my name is Tengu230 and welcome back to Lifeless Planet. When I, as this character, when I was actually uh, trying to get oxygen, uh, I'm actually still tired right now from the last session, so uh, forgive me, forgive me. Uh, yeah, I fell in a hole um, after this gigantic, like, tree tentacle monster thing came out of the ground. And I fell in a hole and here I am, in this uh, tranquil zone walking. And before I got here, uh, he was talking about his wife, I believe. Um, about how she actually passed away. Air and signal. What are you? Why are you searching for me here? You know where I am. You left me behind years ago. You can't find me now. We're too far apart in the distance and time. Is this like where she passed away or something? Like where she fell from the cliffside? Because that's what he was talking about last time when you were seeing like moss or and leaves around her toes or something. Yep. Oh man, that's sad. No, what are we doing? You are not depriving me. I need Where to end this. You? Holy shit, 60 frames per second on this part because there's like nothing but clouds and Avatar like uh, islands and oh shit. No, 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 no. What the fuck? What the hell? I was like right on the edge What in the f <laughs> that was oh my god, that was that was stupid man What in the hell that freaked me the hell out? Holy hell what the balls. I didn't expect that. I thought I was gonna die. I can't see shit because of the trees. Hold on, I'm coming! I'm coming, hold on. I'm freaking out right now. Uh where am I going? Here? What? I'm I'm gonna I'm just gonna jump that. One, two. I'm here! Oh, what? <laughs> they teased me. Where the hell am I? What? What happened? Am I just dead? Wait, did I die first and then like... I don't... that was weird. Okay, now I'm inside. I'm in the cave. It seems like uh, the Russian girl is here. I remember I used to call her Green Eyed Girl and then I'm like, hey, I think she's Russian. So let's call her Russian Girl. I hear snarling in the background. I'm really thirsty. I need to drink something. The creature has the woman now. What? That's a lot of blood. I hope she's still alive. Okay, so the monster took her. I'm gonna have to save her somehow by throwing some rocks at him, probably. We are underground. It is extremely dark in that chasm, man. The only thing I can see is the is the green her blood didn't realize that was her blood wait was she never mind <laughs> this whole time you're not gonna get me with that bullshit right there I can see those I can see those uh, branches those bush those bushes sticking out from the bottom Gonna have to make a bridge again. No, not more puzzles. Oh wait, she's over there. But why is what? She looks a little different. Okay, I'll just push this then. All right, I guess they meet in the middle. Bridge. Whoa, 
there it is. Looks like a... Looks like an evil beat. What's happening? Can't believe Groot just took her like that. What is going on? They're like supposed to be like one? This whole time she's trying to escape from it or something? She's the one who can restore the balance by sacrificing herself? Is that what's going on? What? But I was like, I made the bridge. What the fuck? <laughs> She like restore balance right now? Like, is this how the planet's supposed to look like? All green and shit? She saved my life. She saved the entire planet. Mars with the strange and whatever the case, she saved my life along with the countless other beings on this planet. Yo. Wait, am I climbing this, or how's this? This looks trippy, man. Where? Whoa, dude. <laughs> I feel like one misstep, like, whoa, 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 whoa. I feel like I'm gonna fall. Where the hell do I go? Oh, down here? Okay. Ugh. What the heck? There's some gas or some fog spewing out of that one. Where is this taking me, man? This thing's taking me, like, backwards. But then it's, like, looping around, like, across the chasm. Wait, what's... what? <laughs> hey, where am I going? <laughs> Here? Oh, okay. This is where I'm supposed to go. This is, like, the trippiest shit I've played in, like, in a little while. But it's like, you know, good trippy shit. Don't die! Especially when I'm trying to figure out where the hell am I supposed to go. No! You fucking asshole, dude! Right there! You put your fucking feet like right on the edge and you bounce back! You stupid bastard! Why? Oh god, your physics are horrible. Your physics are absolutely fucking horrible. I'm going this way. Fuck you. Fuck you all. This is where I'm supposed to go. Yes. Look at that. Look at that shit. There. What the fuck you... You... Ah, figured it out, you assholes. You didn't think I figured that out, huh? 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 Platforming. Sometimes it's really cool in this game, and sometimes it's hell of annoying. Okay, your ass better not. Okay, I'm going this way. This is what the planet's supposed to look like, huh? 
It actually looks like... Looks a little more... Honestly, looks a little more boring than how it used to look like. Unless just this certain part of the planet just looks like this. I don't know. Maybe it's just... I don't know. It's too much green for my tastes. So what's the plan now? How the hell am I supposed to get out of here? Or I don't even know what's supposed to happen. I don't know what that is. Spores or something? They look like spores. No! <laughs> Sometimes I hit the extra boost and it's so- uh, Oh, fuckity fuck, asshole! Shit, man! God, fuck this game sometimes, dude. That was probably all me. How many times have I fallen in this game? Oh my god, it's so annoying. It's like sometimes I feel like I don't have like as much control as I want to when I'm when I'm platforming. Satellite? Is that where I need to go? This seems like the end, folks. I don't know if it is, but it better be. I kinda wanna <laughs> kinda wanna be done with this game already. Not not to say that it's not a fun game. Oh, Ugh. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Seriously. That is not helping me. <laughs> like, at all. What the fuck? It's like, oh my god. Sometimes, like, even right on the edge, you're gonna fall. Holy shit. Is this it? Is this the end? I'm at the satellite. Uh, is that where I needed to go the whole time? I don't know. Maybe. The portal so to the other portal does lead back to Earth, but hundreds of years in the future. The future. The portal to this planet was a one-way transport mechanism, as we discovered following our initial arrival. We originally assumed it would work like any doorway that we or that we could return through the same portal device at our convenience but this was not the case thankfully we eventually discovered the second portal the departure portal leading back home this two portal system was actually very efficient for transport purposes and we developed our settlements appropriately to regulate travel back and forth as necessary but what we didn't comprehend at first was the lost time encountered through the portals while transport happens quickly time on earth and on this planet are not in sync we soon realized the week on this world was a month back on earth when the portals failed this time disparity became great. When the rival pe when the rival portal malfunctioned and killed so many people, we became afraid to use the departure portal to return to Earth. Over time, we started to see images we did not recognize on the other side. There were strange towering structures, much more advanced than anything we'd ever seen before. Some believed the portal had recalibrated to the homeworld of the portal creators, but I knew the truth. The images in the portal were of Earth, but centuries in the future. Unfortunately, we never tested our hypothesis given the completely unstable power reactions from the portal. It was far more likely we would suffer a tragic transportation accident like our comrades from home attempting to reach us. There were no volunteers in event and eventually no further opportunities before the portal went dark and cold. In retrospect, I wish we'd taken our chances. Man. This is this is the way home guys. Sorry if you guys see those uh lines on the screen. That's actually from the game. Okay, this music at the end it's pretty epic. What am I going to see over the horizon? Absolutely nothing. I have to make it to that light? Come on, I'm almost home, baby. Do not deprive me. Do not deprive me of this satisfaction as I bounce along these hills. This is it, I'm getting chills. What is that on the left? 
Looks like a tree creature or something. Or waterfall. Oh, they are tree creatures. There's a bunch of them. Wow. Oh my god, I can see the future Earth through the portal. This thing better not break. Oh my god, you're so close. This is intense, man. Let's look back. Let's look back on where I came from. Before I go in. Wow. Shadows. I'm gonna see what it looks like from behind. because I'm curious. Whoa, it's empty. Can I go through here this way? As I understand, you've kept your wife on life support. It sounds like you haven't been able to let her go. Actually, I did it for her. I want to give her every chance to live again. Even if I'm not here. Well, this is pretty. And there it is. The future. Future Earth. As I walk along. Yeah, Billy Campbell, Rocketeer, Life of the Planet. That was Lifeless Planet. Oh my god, I beat the game. Alright, I'm just gonna let that sink in for a second. Um, that was kind of a trippy story. It was about like the planet trying to survive and and the astronaut trying to, uh, I don't know, like recollect his memories about his what happened to his wife. Uh, at least it seems like he, he came back home, even though it was like a future Earth. Uh, initially there was a lot of mystery. There was actually a little bit of horror in there, which, uh, I, I kind of expected. But it was like a good mix of genres in there. Uh, the platforming... I'll probably say maybe there was like a little bit too much platforming for me. But if, uh, and if there was, like, just like they had it. I kind of wish I can control my character a little better. Uh, but other than that, it was a lot of, like, my fault, you know, not having another boost to jump on some of the pillars, or maybe some of the platforms were, like, a little too, uh, they are like, a little too steep. But other than that, like, actually jumping the chasms, that was pretty exhilarating. And, uh, especially when you got, like, the multiple boosts, that was always pretty cool, because, I mean, who doesn't want to explore a planet while you're kind of, like, flying and like gliding and, and hovering in like midair so it's the best way to explore the planet what you I think. Miss most about Earth? Well my wife first of all and then Earth itself all of it she saw the beauty of this planet long before I did you truly loved her of course and if you lose someone you love even 20 light years probably isn't enough distance to make you stop missing them. Whoa, what just happened there? But yeah, 
That was actually a short credit scene, but um, yeah, I don't know how long this took. Probably like six, maybe five to six hours. It was it was actually a pretty good length of a game, but uh, yeah, the the platforming and some of the exploring at the end for me got a little bit tedious because a lot of the, there's a lot of terrain, a lot of expanse of it that I had to walk across. Um, yeah, but other than that, like the beginning was paced pretty well. There was a lot of mystery. Yeah, it was just the ending that it was like, oh my god, it's like, uh, how many more puzzles or like how many more, uh, jumping puzzles do I have to go through? But other than that, Lifeless Planet, I definitely recommend anybody who wants to, you know, go on an adventure on another planet, uh, who wants a little bit of mystery involved, uh, who wants to, you know, do a little bit of like platforming, like here and there while they're trying to solve puzzles and stuff, I definitely recommend Lifeless Planet to them. So yeah, I think overall, uh, if I'm gonna rate this game like out of ten, I'd probably give it like a, like seven, seven and a half. Um, it's definitely worth. Uh, it was worth my time. Like the story was a little. I wasn't exactly sure what was going on in the end, but it, I mean, essentially, he wanted to go home. Um, and you know, maybe find solace and. You know what happened to his wife. So. Uh, but yeah, it was. It was it was pretty good. I liked it. So uh, yeah, that is going to be the final episode of Lifeless Planet. I hope you guys enjoyed playing. You know, if you want to play, the game's on Steam. You know, definitely check it out. And uh, yeah, this is going to be it. So no more Lifeless Planet. <laughs> Got to move on to another game. Um, but anyway, all right. Well, if you want more uh, more games for me to play, uh, press the like button. Also subscribe to my channel in case you missed all the episodes in the series. They're in the playlist uh, link in the description below. So, all right, everyone, until the next video of uh, whatever I'm doing next, take care. Tengu230 out. Game on, everybody.